Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this propped cantilever beam using consistent deformation method. A propped cantilever beam of span 5 meter is given in the question. The beam is subjected to a point load 16 kN at a distance of 3 meter from the fixed end. In this question, we have to find the fixed end moment at A, the vertical reactions, and then we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Now, let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 3. They are the moment MA, the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. We have to make this beam statically determinate. For that, we have to remove any one of these. Let us release RB. Here, you can see that I have removed RB from the point B. So, the point B becomes a free end. Previously, it was a propped cantilever beam, but now it became a cantilever beam. To find RB, we can use the formula P delta is equal to delta minus delta L. P is the final reaction or movement. Here it is RB. Delta is the displacement due to the unit load or unit movement in the released point. In this analysis, we have released RB. It is a vertical reaction. So, delta will be the displacement due to unit load. Delta is the final displacement. We have released RB from the point B. In the point B, there is no sinking or settlement. So, delta will be 0. Delta L is the displacement due to the loads. Let us take delta on the other side. It will come in the denominator. We know that P is RB and we know that delta is 0. So, finally for RB, we are getting minus delta L upon delta. In this formula, to find delta L and delta, we are going to use unit load method. In that method, we have to find the movements capital M and small m. To find these two movements, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, BC and CA. So, we have to make two sections, one in BC and one in CA. You can see that I have made two sections, the first section in CB and the second section in AC. I have made both of the sections at a distance of x from the point B. The origin of both of the sections is B. We know that there are two members BC and CA. The limit for the first section is 0 to 2. The limit for the second section is 2 to 5. Now we are going to find the moment capital M. This is the moment due to the given load. We are going to find the moments from the point B. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the moment in BC. Up to the first section, there is no load. So the moment M will be zero. Now let us find the moment in CA. Up to the second section, we have a load 16 kN. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the distance, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 2. When we multiply minus 16 with this, we will get minus 16x plus 32. Let us apply that. Now we are going to find the moment small m. For that, we have to remove all of the loads and apply unit load in the direction of RB. Because we have removed RB, so in the direction of RB, we have to apply unit load. RB was acting upwards, so in the upward direction, I have applied unit load. 
let us find m in bc up to the section we have this load the unit load is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x 1 into x we will get x let us find the moment small m in ca up to the second section we have the unit load this is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x 1 into x we will get x in this formula now let us find delta l the formula to find delta l is integration of caps m small m upon ea dx for the member bc no need to make the integration because for m we have zero when we multiply zero with the x we will get a zero so straight away we can enter zero for ca let us do the integration the limit for the integration is 2 to 5 let us apply the values of m and small m now we can take a calculator and do the integration if you do not know how to do integration in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and i have got minus 288 upon ei in this formula now let us find delta the formula is integration of m square upon ei dx for bc the limit is 0 to 2 and let us apply the value of m for ca the limit is 2 to 5 and let us apply the value of m finally for delta i am getting 125 upon 3 ei in this formula we have found delta l and delta let us apply both of them minus into minus it will be positive let us take this term inversely and then multiply we can eliminate ei finally for rb we are getting 6.912 kN. now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find ra ra and rb are acting upwards so both of them are positive this load is acting downwards so it is negative finally for ra we are getting 9.088 kN. Now let us take moment about A and find MA. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive. The vertical reaction RB is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. This load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. Let us assume that MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for MA we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A in this case, I am using right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using that rule, we can find all of the values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we are going to find the bending moment values. I am going to find the bending moment values from the point A. In this case, I have to use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anti-clockwise will be negative. In the point A, we have the moment MA. It is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative. The reaction RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. So for the bending moment at C we are getting 13.824 kN meter. The point B is a simply supported end. So the bending moment in the point B will be 0. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In this point the bending moment becomes 0. Let us make a section in this point and find the value of x. Here also we can use right hand side rule. 
the moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative the vertical reaction va is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x finally for x we are getting 1.48 meter if you wanted to find the point of contraflexure from the right side we have to subtract 1.48 by the length 5 we will get 3.52 meter now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video